All right. Good morning, any uh, everyone. Cheers. Um, so this one is how to get into the writer's flow. So first off, um, shout out to my friend. Um, I had a person recommend that I wear the same tank top as I did yesterday. So I've decided to follow that recommendation and wear that same tank top that I did yesterday. So I'm currently wearing that for the video, um, regardless, but back to, um, the topic, uh, how to get into writer's flow. So I am just going to go through a couple things that I do that really help me. So first off, um, first thing in the morning, I'm journaling, uh, gratitude, and I'm really, I'm writing every day. So that's basically the first thing, just writing every day, habit, it becomes just second nature. Like it's not, it's not, uh, it's not a struggle too much anymore. Um, second thing is knowing that your first draft is not going to be the one most likely. So when I write, I don't even think about editing the first time. I just write the full blog post or, or the full book, whatever it might be. Write the full thing, then go through, edit, like read it out loud, edit for wordage, and then edit again for simplicity. Because I always find I put in like extra words that I don't need um, just to like sound smart and like all these big words and then I just delete all of them at the end. But I don't worry about it during my first go around. Um, so that's the second is to just like understand that you create the flow. The first draft, I'm zoned out listening to music, just doo -doo 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 -doo, just like going hard at it. And then I know though that I trust the process so that afterwards I'm going to be editing. Uh, whereas most people where they get stuck is they're, is they're writing and they're like, oh, that didn't sound right. And then they keep going back, they keep going back. It's like, no, complete the process once, then come back, complete it again, then come back, complete it again. By the third completion, then you've actually completed the full process and then you can post it to the public. Um, and the next one, I like green tea. Green tea seems to work for me in the morning. Green tea gets me into some nice flow. Green tea with some uh, natural uh, honey, put some honey in there. It's real good. Um, what else helps get you into the writer's flow? Uh, meditation. So I'll do, I usually do like one meditation a day. So I do Alan Watts guided meditation. If you type that in verbatim into YouTube, um, it'll come up. It's a 15 minute meditation with a purple circle in the middle. Um, kind of looks like it's sucking you in like a black hole or something. Um, listen to that 15 minutes. You'll become better at meditating. You'll become more calm, more at ease, more present, more out of your head, more in your body. And when you're out of your head and you're in your body and you're present, writing is a lot easier. Um, and really just like writing about what you love, writing about what you love, that makes it really passionate. Like when I'm writing, I'm not even like, I'm just writing. Like I'm not even trying, I'm not thinking about anything really. Like I'm just like letting the words flow out of me. They just like come through me like this. Um, and I had one more that I can't remember at the moment. Oh, so Quora. I honestly highly, if you want to become a better writer, sign up for Quora, Q-U-O-R-A.com and help people answer their questions and write blog posts on there. Um, cause the more questions you answer, the more you're writing and it's fun and you get better at writing. So I do that as like a warm up. Sometimes if I'm not feeling it, I'll go on Quora, answer like 10 questions, uh, maybe like five questions for like 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and then I'm like flowing. So Hopefully all those help. If you have any more questions on how to get in the writer's flow, post the comments below. I'd love to answer them and I'll talk to you all soon.